think we'd both say that you, you know those first couple of years on, on on Walking Dead were some of the most special times. It was definitely for me yeah. special times of my life. Yeah, um, sure. In 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 kind of every way, um, it was just like it was just kind of perfect. Um, Georgia was perfect. Georgia was great. Georgia's perfect. And and uh, we're but talking. Georgia's now of, passed some laws that I don't know if I'd worked on. Well, that that's where I was going. I guess I guess like you know. It also was like the full experience we were talking about last night of like how wonderful this this art can be mm -hmm. and also how toxic this business can be. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if you can kind of like take me through your experience going with Frank Darabont, you know, him, you know, finding out that he was getting fired in the middle of it, you know, what mm -hmm. that was sort of for you as much as you're you're down with talking about it. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, I'm down as well. But like, you, you know, what lessons did you learn from that? What 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 did that you know you you had been through a big <clears throat> a big show before like i hadn't like that was like mm -hmm. you know i was like holy fuck being on tv is amazing like these people are <laughs> fucking great and like yo this dude like i was in jail and now i'm right. fucking man on the biggest show in the world and like holy fucking this dude saved my fucking life and i'm getting yeah. married and i'm about right. to have a kid and what yeah. you firing this dude but wait he didn't do anything but like now he's right. like what right and and I'm just like wondering what that roller coaster was for for for, for you and and I know he didn't get you know it's not these same sort of things that we're talking about now yeah but no in a way he did in a way he got you, you know like it, it, it's um it it I don't know yeah what 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 was your take on that you know it's funny Stephen Yun called me the mm -hmm. night before mm -hmm. and he was like we'd like we'd just gotten back from Comic Con I mm -hmm. think and he was like. I heard that Frank Darabont's getting fired. And I was like, no way. I was like, no way. He just delivered AMC the biggest hit they've ever had. Like, that's crazy. And he goes, okay, that's, yeah, that's what I thought too. But you know, I'm kind of new to this. And I was like, no man, it's good. Go to bed. So literally the last time Stephen called me for advice. <laughs> Look, there's so much I wasn't privy to, but to me, it just felt like an assassination. It just felt like, I mean, the, the reasons that we were given were like he's unexperienced as a showrunner and he's unprepared and he doesn't know what he's doing. And I remember being like, but this motherfucker, one month before we started shooting season two, dropped six completed scripts oh. in my lap and said, you can learn these lines, they're not going to change. And they were wonderful. They were wonderful. Yeah. And I like... This is probably a controversial thing to say. You cannot beat his writing. You can't. And there are some really good people who've been writing on that show since, and I got a lot of love and respect for them. Nobody writes like yeah, Frank Darabont. That's a whole different level, yeah. It's a whole different level. He has a level of humanity and a fearlessness with sentimentality that is just astonishing. And, a, and a, an economy of language. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, we've said this before, but like that first scene I did with Scott Wilson, where I say, you have no idea what you're doing. Or you're, you're completely in over your head, aren't you? And he goes, ma'am, aren't we all? That's the entire show. It's a show, yeah. I mean, it, it, it was extraordinary. And so to, to have somebody say, he's not ready to be a showrunner, he's unprepared. There may have been legitimate grounds for firing him. If there were, I never heard them, but that was a line of bullshit. And it pissed me off. And I remember walking up to Kirk Kirkman and saying to him, if you don't think we know the difference between a script written by Frank Darabont and, and anybody else, you're out of your mind. And I looked in his eyes and I thought, I'm gonna get written off this show. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have said that, yeah, I was yeah. too pissed. And, yeah, yeah. But it was also that like mama bear in me. I yeah. was like, we created this beautiful thing. Frank was the one who brought us in. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna go to war for this guy. Yeah. And you went to war for this guy. And Jeff DeMunn went to war for this guy. And we lost that we lost war. That war dude. <laughs> we, we got pulverized. Lost yeah. that war yeah. in like, looking back on it. <sighs> Fuck, now I think this might be too insensitive a thing to say. It feels a little bit like, remember that guy that stood in front of the tank in Tiananmen Square? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like, I can stop this. I'm yeah. under a tank. Yeah. I'm under a tail. Yeah, 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 I didn't yeah. stop this. Yeah, I'm yeah, out of a job. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, 
But is there anything there? I mean, do you hold your head high? Like, do you do you do you feel? Because like I, like I, like I, like I, I don't know, man. Like I, I don't know. Hindsight, whatever. I, I just you yeah. know when I when I think about when I think about what that guy did for me, what he did for my family, what he did for my life. Again, shit, we might not have been privy like for sure you know i i didn't play ball like i was just like y'all are rotten like that's fucked up like he he did not deserve to be like he yeah. made this and like we like you know i unbelievable group of people working on that show unbelievable yeah. like it was such a huge success and such a you, you know like i've done so many pro we've done so many projects since and we know so many other people that one was unique and special and hit the zeitgeist in such a unique and and, and special way but like I don't know. For me, I give him credit. I give him credit. F f you know, every, every single person that was there was there because he put him mm -hmm. there and he picked him. And the culture of that show and 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 the way that it, it it's it's him. And 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 getting rid of him when they got rid of him and how they got rid of him to like me was just totally two weeks sinister. before he was financially vested in the show. Like that's something's wrong in Denmark. Dirty shit. Yeah. I mean, look, you asked about loyalty earlier. Like that was a lesson in loyalty because I really truly thought we can all rise up and stop this. Yeah. I remember, remember it was the open letter to variety and we were like in two camps. Remember it was like one camp was like, we got to keep working. And then we were like, no, we're walking off. Remember? And yeah. I like, mean, the thought was if we all refuse to come back to work until they bring him back, it will at least bring enough attention to the fact that this cast is furious, that maybe somebody, and then, and my, my heart was a little bit broken when there was almost no stomach for that. Do you know what I mean? Like there were, you know, you and me and Jeff, like it was kind of funny. It was like, you're like charge and you turn around and you're like, there's Where all no at? army. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. It's me and a paper sword. Um, charge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, and then, yeah, I mean, but look, I'm, I'm proud of it in retrospect. There were years afterwards that financially were very scary. And like, those were years where I was like, what was the actual price of your integrity? Yeah, maybe you should have shut the fuck up. Because yeah. another two years on that show with the raises they got, mm -hmm. like. It's a different different deal. That's, that's life changing money, mm -hmm. you know? And again, I'm a materialist, the economics of that decision. I was like, yeesh. I remember you called me at one point and you're like, you are going to war for a millionaire <laughs> and you are not a millionaire. And I was like, I'm in it now, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like it's too late, but. Um, I don't know. And then there's also a question of like, if we'd shut the fuck up and stayed on the show, I don't know how happy I would have been. I don't know that I would have, you know, and then you go on to do other projects that really are deeply meaningful to you. And you go, well, I couldn't have done that. You know, like Colony was a tremendous experience for me and like, couldn't have done it. You know, I did a play right after it. And like doing that play meant the world to me. Um. But yeah, it kind of broke my heart. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's John, Bam Bam the Dog. Uh, first, on behalf of both of us and everybody from the Real Ones team, I just want to sincerely thank you guys for, for, for tuning in. The folks that I bring on the show, their family to me and uh, being able to tell their stories and bringing you into their world is something that I'm, I'm just super proud of and uh, again, grateful that you guys tune in. We've decided we want to take things just a step further. We're going to introduce a Patreon community and basically what that means is if you become part of this community, look, I already bored Bam Bam. If you want to become a part of this community, you're going to be able to hear episodes early and all that, ad free and all that good stuff. But there's all this behind the scenes footage, all this stuff that we've shot um, that really brings you into the folks that we've had on the show, really brings you into their world. You're going to be able to do live chats with me and the folks that I bring on the show to talk about their world, talk about the issues that they're dealing with, about their triumphs and their tragedies. Just go to Patreon slash Real Ones on this website that you see right there right on the screen that's right in front of you. This whole idea was um, something about building bridges and, 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 and bringing people together and um, bringing folks that often don't get the mic and, and giving the mic to them. So the fact that you guys tune in means the world. Anyways, again, thank you. Uh, be good to each other out there. Rock and roll.